Hi, Art Seekers. We're here with internationally celebrated Alice <laughs> Pasquini. Thank you so much for chatting. Thank you. So how did you come to this world of street art? Uh, so I think it was a reaction to my uh, fine art studies. And, you know, I was at the artistic high school. So in the morning, I would paint the model with my teacher in Rome, in Italy. And it's very classical context. And in the evening, I would learn something else, like uh, how to use the spray cans with a friend, you know, we were um, doing a rap and break dance and hip hop. And uh, so that's how I learned to do graffiti. So these two things were quite uh, in contrast one with the other. So I think it was a reaction about my teacher saying to me, you know, art is dead, you, you know, what you wanna gonna do in the future. And all he was proposing me was a sort of art that I was finding like uh, not alive. So my reaction has been to go into the street, uh, to paint, but in a more alive context, not on a white canvas. So what about working on the streets with a spray paint can feels more alive to you? Uh, it's the surface, because the wall is giving you the inspiration. It's like to add a story on a story. So it's not the same like in your studio. In your studio, you are alone with your idea, your canvas. You can do whatever you want. You are the artist. On the street, there was not the term street art where I started. Uh, you were just a bad person with a spray can. <laughs> so they will be surprised to see something nice, and they will be wondering most of the time, why are you doing this for free? You know, And um, anyway, the surface and the wall is giving me the idea of what to add. So it's the context all the time. It's just me, which color should I use, which kind of subject, uh, so fitting into the space. Um, and this is more alive, not just because cause of the inspiration it gives to me, but also for the exchange you have, a direct exchange with the people by passing by. So more than what I paint, what I like, all these is, are the stories behind. And I have many, many stories, many different places in the world, uh, meeting with people that have been really uh, giving me something more that, that I could learn in any school, you know. So does that inform your subject choice? You're inspired by somebody and then you find a space that fits with that person and then that's who you make a portrait of? Yeah, I think I'm inspired by feelings. Most of the time human feelings, maybe feelings um, that are not so clear, like they're not sadness or happiness or other kind of feeling that is difficult to explain with words. So I um, think if I have to give a, you know <laughs> an answer to this, that I'm uh, using the people I meet, real people, most of the time are women because I am a woman and I'm a painter and I, I use people to express uh, my feelings but also universal feeling. What I mean that by traveling all around the world you can see the culture, the colors are changing a lot but human feelings are always quite the same. You mentioned that your experience as a female artist that that can inform your work and I'm wondering how else gender plays a part in your art? I wanted to bring on the street uh, something was uh, from a feminine point of view. I mean, I'm a feminist, of course, but it's not this the reason of my art. The reason of what I paint is because of the painting, because I like to paint, I'm a painter. So, um, But at the same time, I realized I wanted to bring another image of women on the street because uh, in Italy, uh, here is very less than this. In each country is more or less depending on the culture. But uh, the, the, the women will be represented in the city landscape through advertising or imaginary, like uh, sexy girls or good mothers, you know? Mm. And also that was the same with my uh, friend from the graffiti world that will represent the woman as a puppet, a comics book, a sexy lady. And the woman uh, I, I paint are a real woman. So sometimes it's shocking for people to see a real woman, like a, a pregnant woman represented, or you know, a, a woman pissing, I don't know, for example, more than, uh, you know, some obscenous advertising. So I was finding funny people asking me, you know, why are you painting? Uh, uh, these girls, where I was just painting uh, normal people, and that's what I'm interested in, because it's not really a portrait of somebody, it's more a uh, 
portrait or of a feeling. And if there is magic in this life, it's in the very little moment, you know. So I'm saving this moment because these are, for me, the best of what we could call happiness. I think it's interesting the way that people write about your work and they always use words like loving and relationships <laughs> and connection and I see all of those things manifest in your work but those terms also feel gendered. Yeah sure. And you know bit. how many articles I read was titling like graffiti in pink or female street art and also how many exhibition of graffiti women. For sure it's annoying to me but at the same time is I think that is because feeling um, positive uh, emotion are considered for wo for women you know it's more about that so i understand that to speak about positive things can look like more banal than be you know cynic but i still think that we need more of this in this world because we are full of both cynicism and more and more in this day so it started to me like uh, really a sort of expressing myself and to bring my private diary, so very intimate uh, um, uh, moment of life, very private, into a public space. Okay. When the people are passing by, I say, oh, what does it mean? And I ask, what do you think does it mean? Then from this moment, a lot of interesting point of view are coming out because I still believe that painting have to be to leave you the space to put your own interpretation. So I was always interested by the um, metaphorical, maybe it's paint like enigmatic, you know, you can't really understand you say what's going on and you can give your interpretation because at the end art is the expression of the unconscious, you know, and that's the only way we can get things out that otherwise would be difficult to say with the world.